Saludos, mi nombre es Eduardo Yo, inversionista de bienes raíces, con uno de los inversionistas más grandes en todo Puerto Rico, Cherif Medawai Cherif. Hey, thank you, Eduardo. How nice to have you here. <laughs> thank why, you. Uh, if someone's watching this for the first time, they're like, why is Sharif there? Why are they standing in front of this beautiful property? Well, Can you, you give us some context of why are we here? Absolutely. As you probably know, Old San Juan is the oldest historic zone under U.S. flag. This is Calle San Sebastián, so San Sebastián Street is known practically in the whole Caribbean. We have parties in January that actually invite over half a million people that fly in to be on the San Sebastián Street. Now this property, 208 Calle San Sebastián, is a beautiful multi-unit property that has been sitting here. I bought it, I was going to do the rehab, but I know Eduardo, I know he can do a better job for the community and for this property. Him and his team has been unbelievable. They have done some project in Santurce and they say, let's go to the big game over here. Can I tell them some numbers? Yeah, that's certainly. Okay. Say it, say it. So this property is getting it about slightly over $2 million. He's going to do some rehab at one and a half to $2 million. And the beauty of this is going to do the multi-units as a tourism project. And he's working with the tourism office. He has experience in that. And he's going to get tax credit. I can tell you many people have tried to work with the tourism office, but they don't know the nuances and how to work it out with the tourist. He knows it. He's done it. And that team with experience is going to come in here and maybe do 12 to 17 units. There is such huge demand for nightly rent in this area because of the cruise ships and all the traffic we get. This is the residential part of San Sebastian Street. Over there, if you want to take a look, if you see over here, down there is where all the parties happen on the weekend is packed and people are looking for nightly stays because they want to party they want to have a good time this is a winning project this is going to be incredible try to join try to come in eduardo has a fund we set him up with a real estate fund he's one of the very few people on the island that have an opportunity for you to invest with him directly yes eduardo. and not only that but the beautiful thing about this is we're going to teach you we are going to teach you how you can also do it. So if you want to invest in something like this, you don't have to think you're going to be in the sideline. There's a lot of interaction that we can come up with where you can learn as you get paid and you can be a part of this beautiful building, which by the way, I have the name. It's a surprise. I wanted to reveal it for you. Tell me. It's going to be called Casa San Sebastián. I love it. Let's People can't make a mistake what it is. And this is a beauty. I call that earn while you learn. So you invest with Eduardo, you go into the project, you learn, you come to see stage by stage. He's going to set up a training where you can come in maybe once a month or maybe once a quarter to see the progress of the deal. So you understand how your money's invested and maybe eventually you can do your own projects if you want to. Your own fund. fund. Yes. Or you set up your own fund. We help people set up funds. We've been doing it for years. Eduardo has been incredible with it. It took his game to another level. He was already a successful investor and he said, I want to create a bigger pie, get investors with me, whether local people that want to invest, whether people coming from the US that want to actually put their money here in the island because they get tax savings and this is an opportunity for everybody to participate and probably if you invest in this and learn in the process you can also maybe get a discount when you stay here every now and then <laughs> i don't know about, <laughs> about that. that probably <laughs> yes but how about this guys how about we walk the property how about we show them Let's what's inside the property all the little perks and your projects and what and your the vision projects is. and how we're going to add value to it not just because there's a regular value add but the way we're going to increase income by having additional rooms let's excellent, go inside guys excellent. let's go see this was Oje originally laid out as seven units, but with the vision Eduardo has, it's incredible. Look, yeah, one of the things that right off the bat you could see is the stairways. I mean, it's it's beautiful, it's all original, the tiles, this is marble floor, floors. We're gonna take these marble floors, we're gonna polish it up. I mean, we're, we're not trying to make something look modern. We're taking what it is and we're just highlighting it and taking it back to its glory days. So this section over here is gonna be the lobby area. We're gonna have a lobby, you know, people are coming in from the airport, they're tired, they have the luggage, they're, they're full of heat, they want a water, they want a coffee, they want a little quick snack. And we're gonna make this furniture amazingly beautiful for them to come in, check in. Someone's gonna be here for them to check in. That's one of the perks of having a little a small boutique, right? Small boutique exactly. hotel, that there's someone to receive you. Yes, so it's not like an Airbnb where you're on your own trying to figure out what's happening. You get the best of both worlds. You get the nightly stay, you get the service. Gonna do a bathroom here on the side, yep. right? Sharif, uh, for the audience to keep learning, you were saying something about storage. Yes. Uh, how how so can, can you explain enough, on that? Enough room here for the lobby area, which is a small quaint area. 
Then you have really an area here for bathrooms. You have to have public bathrooms. And then you can have a luggage area. A lot of people come in early, whether Airbnb or for hotels, they don't know where to store the luggage. This could be a revenue producing area. So the hotel can also help other people for Airbnb that want to store luggage until their actually arrival check-in time. And you can charge for that. People that even arrive early for hotels, now you can charge a little fee. It's a, it's a money machine. These Nike stays, there's such a need for it on the island, especially in Old Central. So it seems like all these little things keep adding up. The, Absolutely. The luggage, the little foods, the snacks, the early check-ins, the late check-in, check-outs, check exactly. all those things add up. This is going to be another room, but one of the things that I wanted right. to highlight about this property, which is when Sharif showed it to me, it, one, of the, one of the things that caught my eyes is this outdoor patio. I mean, it's, it's totally beautiful. It has this beautiful wall here. I talked to the architect. It's permanent. You cannot touch it. Oh, you cannot touch it. No, you cannot touch it. Um, however, the institute allowed us to put a, a door here. Ah. So we can access the other side. Okay, but good. that's it. We can put a 36 inch door. That's, that's can you about put it. windows? You, I don't know if you can put windows. That's a ah. good question to ar uh, ask the architect, which leads me to another thing, which is your, the team. The team is important here. Absolutely. Because you don't have the right team. You're in a in a tight area. There's there's not a lot of it's not easy to get in and out. Yes. That's why I believe that um, old San Juan people think it's it's extremely hard. It, 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 it's a different ball game. It's it's, yes. it's like like investing in old San Juan. Is almost like investing in a different place almost, even yeah. though it's so close to us. Um, what do you think is are one of the like the challenges that people see and then how that creates opportunity for so, us? Yeah, so this is a historic zone, a lot of tax benefits, but the area is controlled by the Culture Institute. And the good news is they maintain the quality and the integrity of these historic buildings. It's very important and you have to admire that. This is under the Washington DC Preservation Department. It is UNESCO area. This is phenomenal because yes, it costs you maybe a little bit more time and effort, but at the end of the day, this is where you get the highest ADR, meaning average daily rate, best occupancy. We have conversion rates, meaning people coming from the cruise ships, they come in, they look at the area, they say, oh my God, let's come back and stay. Mm -hmm. So hotels like this that are small and quaint is what is needed, not big brands. And nobody can come and compete. It's not like the Hilton can come in and build something right here. There's no space. It's 788 properties in this very small area in Old San Juan. So usually people come here and they get scared, right? Because it's all abandoned, it's not taken care of. But what we see is we see opportunity. We see an opportunity for us to create ambience, for us to create a, a indoor patio where you come in, there's party outside, but when you come here, it's it's almost like new oxygen, new breathing, you're resetting and you're taking all that vegetation, you're, you're taking the, the nature around you. So that's our vision. The vision is to take Casa San Sebastian and make it into a uh, a place where you can come in and, and reset. Because exactly. the streets are hot, right? It's, you're partying, you're exactly. drinking, you're having a good time. You come here, you reset, you relax, you get your energy back up, and then you're ready to start walking again and start touring. Excellent, and right here will be four rooms with their own bathrooms. On the other side is the exact duplication of this side. If you see upstairs, there'll be more rooms. So this could easily accommodate 12 to 17 rooms. That will create a huge value at the end. And then when you finish all this and you have the tax credit, you can refinance, cash out a lot of money. And that's how you do it. If you know what you're doing, you can make a lot of money and you can actually add value to the area. There is such demand here. Unlike other areas where they're competing with each other, this is such a need in Old San Juan. It's phenomenal. You're gonna create a nice ambiance. It's gonna be phenomenal. So we're in the upstairs part of the building and we have two suites upstairs and one suite downstairs. The other suite, we took it for the lobby, but as you could see, I mean, look at the high ceilings. You're, you're looking straight over the main road. Like Sharif said, when the festival comes, all these roads are packed and you can have a good time here with your people, sort of like a VIP party. Obviously there's a discount if you stay on the floor. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, this is this uh, old tenant. So you can see the previous owners, I've owned this for a couple of years. I've been so busy with other projects. And when Eduardo came, I said, let's put the numbers together. And that's an opportunity for you to take something that of historic value to its, tr its true value, the next level up, which make it a nice individual unit. This is gonna be a nice suite. So people that wanna mm. upgrade with a little balcony, they will have this versus the rooms over there. So let's take a look at some of the rooms. Yes, this is gonna be huge. It has its own kitchen. It has a bedroom here and then a second bedroom here. It's gonna be one of the biggest suites in the hotel. There's one that's exactly duplicate to this one on, on the this other side. side of the building. Then we have the rooms. All the rooms, obviously, with the bathrooms, huge rooms. But most importantly, look at the high ceilings. Again, we're in old San Juan. One of the most beautiful things about Old San Juan 
is the high ceilings, right? Yeah. It doesn't feel small, sure. It feels, yeah. feels huge, even though that's it's, the a, beauty about this, it's yes. a good size room. We're gonna have a beautiful bed, beautiful furnishing. Uh, the interior designer already came in, saw it, she's already working on the vision for Casa San Sebastian. And it's all about that. It's all about having that strong team with the architects, with the Sharif as in consultant and advisor, and obviously with the interior designer, management company, all those things come together to create an amazing product and value for you as well to come in and obviously invest, but not only invest, but also learn. Exactly. Earn why you learn. I yeah. love that, I love yeah. that, Sharif. You know, I have $100 million of properties here here in old San Juan. I've been investing for 20 years and now I see potential like I've never seen before. And that's why I'm so glad to team up with people like Eduardo who have experience, have the vision and can take properties to the next level. I've done it over and over and over. And now I partner up with people. I give him the opportunity to work with me and he's a proven business model. He knows what he's doing. And that's why we invite you to come join him. He has the fund, the fund pays you. May I tell him about Yes, sir, fund? yes, sir. You can invest as little as 25,000 in this project. 25,000 to 249,000 and you will receive 6% fixed. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to make any decisions. You come and learn and you work with Eduardo and you come in and we'll be happy to tour you periodically so you see how your money's invested. You put 250,000 to millions of dollars, you get 8% per year. We do the payouts on February 28th and August 31st. We have no fees. You pay, you pay no acquisition fee, no management fee, no development fee, no disposition fee. You get your fixed return. February 28th, you get the 40%, August 31st, First, you get 4%. The project should be done within 24 to 30 months. This is a beautiful opportunity for you to learn, invest in your own backyard right here in Old San Juan, come in and see how it's done, and also learn if you want to do it on your own afterwards because you got paid. You didn't just come in to look, had to pay for a training. You got paid to get trained. You got paid to invest. You have no liability, no headaches. There is no more capital that you need to put. We have enough investors to do it. We're going to do it with you or without you, but would love to get more people involved as we grow more in all especially Juan. locals i mean if you if you're a local and you're watching this video you've always wanted the piece of all san juan yes you, you come here for ice cream you come here for the piraguas <laughs> and you're walking in the motor and you always wanted to be involved in a project like this this is your opportunity to not only learn but also earn. And like you said, there's great returns. I mean, you, you invest on Monday, Tuesday, your money starts to accrue interest. It's a it's a beautiful thing that we have set up. And, and I appreciate you, Sharif, for allowing me to be a part absolutely, of it. Absolutely, absolutely. And yep. also there will be two other big projects that we're working on. So those who invest in this will have the priority to join on the bigger projects which are right in front of the pier. You probably know already that they're excavating in front of the piers. There's a big, big projects. They already paid the tourism office 75 million. There is another $200 million coming this area is up and coming yes there are plenty of opportunities on the island but there is no place like old san juan so come and see for yourself you want to show them more yes sir so we have here a bathroom that's going to be for this room and then we have another bathroom for this room so at the end of the day we have four rooms here in this side in, in the right side of the property and then obviously it's a symmetrical property so we'll have the same over there as well okay and then you have the patio look you have not only the, the, the fact that you could you know talk to your neighbor, but you could see how beautiful everything is at the bottom. It's, it's all about conserving what it was and bringing it to its most uh, glory days, right? We, we're not trying to reinvent the wheel. We're trying to take what we have, which is already beautiful, the elements and- And restore it to the best level possible. So you'll have four over here, four down there, and then four here and four here. Yes. So that's 16. And then the two suites, yeah. uh, you're probably going to lose one only. That's we why lose we lose one. Have, in total, yeah, we'll have 17 rooms, uh, 12 to 17 rooms. At the end of the day, the Institute of Culture is, you know, can, can give us guidelines on that. Exactly. But from what the architect, which is an experienced person who's been to his office he's are here in Old San Juan, you know, he knows this. He walked it yesterday with me. Excellent. Contractor Excellent. walked it. Uh, interior designer walked it. So we're ready to get started. I mean, literally one block away is the ocean area where you have the beautiful views and the bars and all this good stuff. Three blocks the other side, you're in front of the cruise passengers where all the biggest cruise ships in the world are docking over here. You can walk down the street, you're right where the action is. This is the place to be. You can walk to maybe a couple dozen restaurants over here that are very well known. This is the place, come and check it out. Even if you can't invest, come and give us your feedback, give us your blessings, and we'd love to meet you and see you in person. Yes, we're gonna have tours. We're gonna be coordinating tours for, for the investors and, and, and the friends and family of the investors to come here in Puerto Rico and visit the property. Like you said, it's important for us to show them, to expose them to what's possible, right? Excellent. Because they can inherit our confidence. As, as I inherit your confidence, they can inherit our confidence into knowing that, wow, this is a project 
project that I would love to be a part of. And if I was by myself, they could say, I wouldn't have the guts or the experience or the yes. know-how to do it, but with a team, Absolutely. that changes. That makes a big difference. That's why I have the biggest trust in you. I've seen you do it with the team and the people that you have make all the difference. Plus you have a great location and you have the right capital. Those who want to invest in this understand uh, Eduardo is filed with the Securities and Exchange Commission. This is not some limited liability company set up. This is filed formal with the SEC. You can invest, it's a formal structure. It's all with the private placement memorandum. It's paperwork that you have to fill out so we can be in compliance. And there are payments that get made. There is steps for how the money is going to be deployed. Come and see how it's done the right way. And um, would love to have actually- Have fun and have yeah. fun with it because we're going to have a, we're going to have a blast restoring this property to its most prime and uh, see you soon. I'll see you soon. All right. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Nice to meet you. See you.